Um, Hi everyone, I'm Yun Zilin from Meta. I'm going to go through the curated major map feature library. So the curated major map feature library, let's call, just call that library. It consists of three major components. Uh, first, it's a data set in JSON file format of OpenStreetMap elements. Um, they are with manually real tags and other properties that we expect to match any OSM data set at all times. Um, second, it has a pipeline that compares uh, the library with OSM planet file and alert us any discrepancy. Um, lastly, it involves the manual review process to identify any dis if any discrepancy or vandalism. So for the dataset part, um, there are three types of map features included in dataset. The global major city, the global large water features, and US landmark. Each of these map features involves names in multiple languages and tagging uh, provides key information about the features. And the language of the choice at the moment are the most frequent languages that are called at meta map surfaces. Um, of course, the naming each language is revealed by our localization team at meta before we put into the library. So now let's take a look at a couple examples. The first one is the mega city. Um, as I mentioned earlier, it's a JSON file format, so each feature is a JSON object. Uh, it includes the properties like OSM type, OSM IDs, the tag with multiple names in different language, uh, geometry in WKT format, and the category to indicate what kind of map feature it is. Um, here's an example of inland water body, an example of US landmark, the San Francisco City Hall. About the pipelines, uh, it includes three kind of validation tracks. The tag track, the geometry track, and the untracked name track. And each of the tracks will output the fail or pass signal. Uh, the tag tracks flex, modify, or delete attributes between the library and the latest OSM data. And then the geometry track will flag the elements when there, uh, there exists a significant difference between the geometry on live OSM and the library. And then the untracked name chart will flag the element when there's new names added to OSM but does not exist in the library yet. When all the charts are complete on each element, um, we will output the signals. And at this point, there are many review process involved. And our reviewer will reviewer will review the, um, the failed uh, tracks result and decided what actions to take. The action could be fixed on live OSM or it could be modified the library. So in conclusion, the curated feature library captures the validated attributes of permanent map features. It's used to compare the latest OSM file and, and the library to detect any discrepancy um, to prevent vandalism of major cities, water bodies, and US landmarks. Uh, and it's released as part of the Meta's map daylight map distribution release process. If you're interested in daylight, you can, you can scan the QR code here to get more information. Um, in the future, we plan to continue expand the library uh, in terms of feature types and languages. Uh, we also want to improve the threshold of each validation track. Um, if you want to download uh, this curated map feature library, here's a URL. Thank you.